What's happening everybody? The Poets here. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, I can always read down the spec sheet of a laptop, and this is a very interesting laptop right here, but it's more about what's relevant to your needs on a daily basis. Some people are more into gaming, some more into productivity, some just want to watch YouTube videos and like and subscribe, of course. So this is a very interesting device. AMD did sponsor this video, and this gives me the opportunity to actually take some time to review the features of this and how it may be relevant or not relevant to your daily needs. This has some of the latest technology out there like Wi-Fi 7, and of course AMD's new Ryzen AI engine, which AI is a very popular term these days. But I'm gonna show you like how that's actually potentially relevant for what you're doing today. So this is the new Razer Blade 14 laptop. Very interesting, and let's just get into the unboxing. So right away, we have very robust packaging. Uh, so we have your kind of traditional power cord. All right, nothing special there. Uh, the power brick is actually kind of slim. It seems well built. I definitely like the braided cord for this. And it does have a proprietary plug going into the laptop, so we'll, uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. And it does have a very comfortable rubber strap, so this is actually well done. All right. And then we have the laptop box itself with the traditional Razer logo. This is very slim. So when you open the packaging, you'll notice that they are being very environmentally conscious. I appreciate that. And this overall is a good presentation. This laptop, it does have some weight to it, I will say that, but it has some serious hardware. Okay. Ooh, now that is a logo. So first impressions, things that I definitely look for in a laptop. One, obviously, the weight. You notice that you're holding something robust in your hand. It is not flimsy, by any means, this is very sturdy. So obviously we have the power plug, very proprietary type of connection, uh, USB type A, type C, headphone jack, uh, nothing on the front. And then on the other side, another USB type C, type A, a full HDMI, and then of course the locking mechanism. So that's, that's kind of nice. Then on the rear, or on the bottom I should say, we have the two fan vents as well as additional grills here. And it's not only on the bottom, but also on the rear. So they are really focused on airflow. We do have a number of finger smudges already, so be mindful of that. I do appreciate how the bottom is a raised area. So it's allowing for these vents to really get some decent airflow. So if you're gonna be using this in the bed, just be mindful that you don't want to you know, choke this off with the covers or anything. Now, one of the things I always do is try to see if it can be lifted by one finger. And yes, so it passes the one finger test. Now, obviously this is personal preference, but I like it when laptop manufacturers put a list of the specs as a sticker that's easily removable on the laptop. Now, typing is something that is kind of personal preference in terms of how loud you want the keys, how soft you want them, the overall feel. This for me, is actually quite comfortable and it's not too loud. I feel when I'm actually pressing down the key that it's being responsive, uh, at least on the edges here. It looks like there's not much wobble at all. So yeah, this is actually quite comfortable. Now, when you're loading up the Razer Blade 14 laptop for the first time, you're gonna go through the traditional Windows 11, you know, welcome to Windows, set up your account type of thing, yes. Um, but you're gonna hit a point where it gets to that connectivity and that's one thing that I initially noticed. I have the option to connect to my Wi-Fi 7 network, and that is a game changer when it comes to laptops in particular, and really any mobile device. Because with Wi-Fi 7, it has a number of different features that are really a generational leap over Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. First off, you actually have multi-link operations, or MLO. That allows you to connect to multiple spectrums at the same time. So your Wi-Fi router may actually have 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz, and your normal devices can only connect to one of those at a time. 
Well, this with Wi-Fi 7 can actually connect to multiples at the same time, enhance basically your speed, enhance your latency. So you'll actually get up to like four times better latency on a Wi-Fi 7 device like this Razer Blade 14 compared to a Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E device. So that really opens up the world to really nice VR experiences because yeah, you can connect a VR headset to this Razer Blade 14. You can actually have better range and better speeds. So for me personally, I'm getting about three times the speeds when I take this laptop out by the swimming pool compared to my Wi-Fi 6E devices. So that's a tangible benefit for me for Wi-Fi 7. And gamers are really gonna love Wi-Fi 7 because they will be hard pressed to even feel the difference between a Wi-Fi 7 gaming experience and a plugged in ethernet gaming experience. It's that good. With the Wi-Fi 7 capabilities of the Razer Blade 14 laptop, I'm actually hitting some wonderful speeds. So basically I'm downloading a 142 gigabyte game in like less than 20 minutes. The display is quite brilliant. And when you go to the settings for the display, you'll see that it's 2560 by 1600 at 240 Hertz, as well as being 10 bit, which is wonderful for video editors and photo editors. And then when it comes to the refresh rate, you have an option for 240 Hertz or 60 Hertz. This laptop is already gonna get roughly 10 hours of battery life, depending on how you're using it, of course. And when it's at 60 Hertz, that's perfectly fine for say reading text, watching movies, videos. Typically you won't see anything over 30 FPS or 60 FPS on like YouTube. But when it comes to gaming, now that's where you're gonna want that 240 Hertz. Of course, it depends on the game that you're actually playing. So first person shooters tend to be very fast paced and you're gonna to want to see everything very clearly as it's shooting across the screen. So that's where the 240 Hertz number comes to play. If you try to play some very fast paced games at 60 Hertz, you're gonna get a lot of kind of blurring effects and it may be a little more difficult. You definitely will see the difference side by side, 60 Hertz versus 240 Hertz while gaming. Now, when you go to the Razer website, link in my profile and the description of this video, you're gonna see that you can customize some of the features of this laptop. This device in particular does have the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS with the integrated Radeon 780M graphics. So that's gonna be very beneficial in certain instances. Now the CPU is eight cores, 16 threads, so plenty of multitasking capabilities, and it's got a fairly high clock speed of 5.3 gigahertz. Now when it comes to the memory, this is really cool because it does have 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and it's clocked at 5600 mega transfers. So what does that all actually mean to you? So when you have 32 gigs of RAM, that's gonna allow you to have more things in that very fast memory area of this laptop. So as you're doing multiple things at the same time, maybe editing a video, watching a movie, playing a game, this is all gonna be in that very fast area and not in the slower storage area, which actually this has very fast storage, but you don't necessarily wanna be running applications from storage, you want it to go into your memory. Now, this does have a very fast and very robust CPU, the Ryzen 9 8945HS. Basically, eight cores, 16 threads. So some applications, they only use one single core and this does have a high clock speed, so you're gonna get great performance of that. But then there's other applications, like plenty of video editing applications and a lot of games that actually use many cores. And so the more cores you have, the better, generally speaking. And so with eight cores, 16 threads, and that high boost clock, you're gonna be able to get some serious multitasking in and some high performance when it comes to just loading applications, uh, installing applications, and running multiple applications at the same time. Here, I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm noticing a few different things. The foliage right here is very crisp, apparent, smooth as it's moving. There's really no hitching whatsoever. The smoke effect that you see here has no artifacts. It's very clean. And then when it comes to just moving around in the world, this is on Wi-Fi 7. So I'm not plugged into any ethernet and it's very, very responsive. I'm also looking at the details of the flames and these are nice and crisp as well. So I'm very impressed by how well this laptop is running it and it's doing it very quietly. The fans are almost inaudible whatsoever. And this is playing on battery as well. 
Now let's talk a little bit more about AI in this laptop. This does have the Ryzen AI feature, which is going to do a couple of interesting things. So when it comes to the camera in particular, this is giving you the options in Windows 11 to actually say blur the background. Um, you can do it like portrait or just kind of a standard blur. If you have a, a tendency to look elsewhere when you're on a video call, it'll actually make it appear like you're actually looking right at the camera. So the person on the other end thinks you're paying attention, which is cool. Then for audio, it's actually gonna use its AI capabilities. This is hard encoded on the laptop to help do some noise reduction to basically make you sound a bit clearer as well. So if you're doing things like uh, gaming or on a, a video conference call, these are all just built on the AI engine and that's gonna enhance the battery life of this device as well. So AI is gonna take care of a couple of tasks and those tasks are actually going to grow over time because we're still in the baby stages of AI development. But if you're gaming, streaming, things of that nature, this is just going to enhance your experience because that task is gonna be offloaded from other resources of the laptop. That's just straight AI engine, the Ryzen AI. You can test some of these out if you go into the Bluetooth and devices, cameras, integrated camera section. <laughs> there it is, the camera right there. And they have different options. So your automatic framing, if I turn that on, basically the camera is going to kind of track where I am to keep me in the center of the frame. For eye contact, it's going to basically, like I said before, make sure that I'm kind of staring at the camera a little bit more. It's not awkward or anything, but it helps a little bit. And then for background effects, obviously you can tell the background is blurred and it does have a portrait blur effect. So this is all based on the AI engine. One thing I should definitely mention is that even though this laptop has plenty of IO or input output ports like USB type C, USB type A, the HDMI, they did also send me this, their USB C dock. And this has a number of interesting features. Uh, it does have an ethernet port on here. It does have a uh, micro SD and SD card reader, more type A and type uh, C slots. So this is kind of cool, even audio. So if you happen to be one of the select few that actually needs more ports than what this offers, this is a nice option. And it's conveniently called the Razer USB-C dock. Now we've covered a number of things on this Razer Blade 14 laptop. This is the first Razer Blade 14 that actually has Wi-Fi 7. It's also very comfortable to hold in the hands. It does have some weight to it, I will admit to that, but it's because it's packing a lot inside of this very comfortably small form factor. A 14 inch laptop to me is kind of that sweet spot. Now, when it comes to opening it up, again, one finger touch pass, that's, that's wonderful. The keyboard is very well done. I do like the RGB, the colors do change and you can customize that as you see fit. The speakers do sound very nice. Uh, they're on both sides. I tend to not really play speakers over um, videos like this because that's gonna be dependent on how you're watching this video, cell phone, TV, big screen, a movie theater, you tell me. Uh, but when it comes to this, the bottom, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet and so is the top as well. But there's gonna be plenty of airflow, which is very key for a laptop of this nature because this does have a very robust GPU, CPU, so you need to keep those nice and cool. And the cooler they are, the quieter this actually will be. I was very surprised by how quiet this was while playing a game at full resolution. And then when it comes to the IO, this basically has everything you are going to need on a daily basis. The type C port right here, I mean, it's USB four. So you're gonna get 40 gigabit per second speeds. The type A's are 10 gigabit per second speed. So you're, you're good to go on the speed nature of that. And what does that actually mean? That means that if you have very large files you need to pull off of this or put onto this, it's going to take you a lot less time. When it comes to the CPU of this, it's top tier. So you're not gonna to have to worry about too much, hey, when is this gonna be obsolete? This type of CPU, the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS, is gonna be relevant for years to come. And with its integrated AI engine, this is also gonna help offload a lot of those normal tasks that the GPU and CPU may actually have to work hard on. And it's going to improve the battery life for that. Plus, as more software developers 
actually integrate AI into their, their software platforms. Like I mentioned before, Adobe and DaVinci Resolve, they're doing that for video editing, photo editing. Um, this is gonna be even more of a value for this style of laptop as well. And my last observation, I always save this for last, uh, is what is the true build quality of this? Because after you're using this for a while, I wanna know, is the screen wobbling while I'm typing? Or if I'm doing stuff on the table, is the screen moving back and forth excessively? That can be really annoying. This so far has been a pleasure. It's solid, it's, it's not wobbly at all. And when I'm typing on here, there's no like indentation into the laptop itself. It's just a, a, a good experience. So I like that overall. And then of course, this build quality is solid. You're not going to get any weird creaking or yeah, it's, it's not like a cheap plastic material by any means. So overall, I'm impressed by the Razer Blade 14 and this AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS processor. If you're watching some of my social media content before, I actually covered that CPU by AMD, uh, geez, just several weeks ago because I was very impressed. So you can actually see some of my write-ups on that. But now being able to use it firsthand and not just kind of seeing what the talking points were actually on a web call by AMD, um, yeah, they followed through on everything that they were actually saying. So thank you again, uh, AMD, for actually sponsoring this video and allowing me to go over these key points of this new processor, the AI engine that's included in it, and the overall build quality of this Razer Blade 14 laptop. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. If you do like this kind of more realistic style of first take slash review, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I always love it when people share my videos as well. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.